Oh, good God in heaven, like... Again, Albert. I'm sorry this happened, my bro. Albert's a bro, so it's like, I'm sorry this happened, dude. You deserve better stuff. Well, dang it. It has been six months since Princess Emil turned into a rowdy person. Oh no, Princess Emil. What you left behind is terrible and scraps. Oh, I can climb up here. There we go. What's up here? A telescope. I can see the Aquaria Coral Reef. Well, that's all I can see. Alright, neat. Cool, even. How could the gentle princess become such a horrible person? Nobody's allowed to go into the castle except those with permission. Oh. Anything up here? Welcome! Come on in! All the way to the back! Oh, such slow pokes! You guys from out of town, eh? Yes, we are. I knew it! I could immediately tell you're not from here. How? Okay, that... You guys, hmm, you smell like exotic foreigners! Tell me, give you a quick introduction to this town. Let me give you a quick in Okay. Introduction to this town. You saw lots of star shapes in this town, didn't ya? There were... There were decorations on top of the roofs of... Or mosaics of the streets, right? It's cause the Aborans have faith in the stars. Naturally, we have an advanced astronomy. May the stars guide you. It's the study of stars, isn't it? Sounds wonderful. Right? We are here to pursue Lloyd. What you say? What are you two whispering about? Are you becoming more interested in stars? Um, yes we are. Tell me more. Really? I'll tell you the truth. I love to talk about stars from people from out of town while working at this, at this here bar. Well, the stars are beyond the sky. They are way over the clouds. They are bright, although they are far away, because each of the stars has a lighthouse on it. Because they have a lighthouse. What the hell ever, dude? <laughs> they never get lost in the sky. And, and, and... Bar owner, save us! Hey, cafe! Don't give the customers hard time! Okay! Sorry, I gotta go back to work. But why don't you come back later? I have lots of things to tell you about stars! Besides, actually, we're not that busy. Oh, the bugs here at YM and uh, some stardust. How much stardust am I up to? 17. I'm raking it in right now. Okay. Alright. Right now we're just exploring uh, places, I guess. I got this plan from Mr. Nilo. Nilo, hello! The problem now is bandits rather than plants. I mean, depending upon the soil and all that can depend whether your plant lives or dies and all, and like other stuff like how well you take care of it. So, oh yeah, we're gonna go, the smell, the ocean from this river. It's close to the sea. If it, is anything wrong with the bridge? It says Claire Bridge. Claire. 
it ain't that girl from the same name as my mom. Josh said, Oh, my runaway daughter is named Claire, too. There must be some secret connection between us. It's impossible to have such a coincidence. I agree with you. Let's say the population of this continent is about 1 million and 5,500,000 are women. According to statistics of the Royal... The Royal Personnel Authority, 4% of all women have, this, have the name Claire. It means from the statistical point of view, just looking tells it all. They don't look like each other at all. Rose being more to the point? Indeed, I'm not even going to try to say a word. Speaking, the distance between their skull, eyeballs, and also their jawbones are different. I mean, if you, I feel, feel like people are not getting that. All right, he's a bit of a spoiler. Hashka's Dar don't that doesn't really look like him. But if you remember the way Dar's father looked, he looks Dar looks a lot like his father. Let's go. We won't finish. He won't finish talking until dusk. By the way, that is a popular theory that Dart is uh, Hashel's grandson. And, uh, by, well, that's also a. Th well, theories about this game, I have. I about never hear anything about. Ooh, stretchy out, shoulders, why? Betray, why? Flats. Uh, barrier station going from there back to Sergio. I guess we're going back to t the twin castle of in Flats. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Lori Lou. It's good that the war is over in Sergio. Yes, it is. Most of the uh, land in Tiberio is barren. I've had a dream from childhood to make it just like our neighboring city. Our love nest. Okay, don't disturb. It is closed. Okay, it's locked. The closed tail in Sergio must be too hot in aren't they? Two of the girls wear short like skirts. The guy, well, one's bare. Two of them are in armor. One's in like. Try the planetarium. Oh, we're in a church. Uh, over. What's over here? It's starring. Please enjoy yourself. An usher. I didn't get a ticket! Pretty stars. So familiar, yet so sacred. Precious beings for Tiborians. Stars are flowing in a faraway realm. Time, they travel in their realm with the help of the life. They travel in the realm with the help of the light. What we call starlight is the light from their lantern. Now please enjoy our special star, Fantasia. Oh no, Disney will copyright us! Stop it! Stop it! I hope you enjoyed the sensational star, Fantasia. Can't have Disney throwing that hammer on me, please! Thank you for visiting the planetarium. Let me out of here! Let me out of here! And for those who go, yeah, I'm gonna copyright you for a name. Whereas, like, my head, like, Fantasia stuff was brought to play, and, like, no, please, sorry. We we can only date in a broken planetarium. That's life. Besides, this place suits us. It's, 
is as if is foretelling a uh, wait. I won't give up. Someday I will be with you. We can't. You are just an usher at this planetarium, and I am. What I want is not your money; it's your heart. Shot through the heart. I know. I know. I believe they will understand someday. I love you. I love you too. Whoa, what are you doing here? Uh, are you looking for the planetarium? This one is not working. It's over there. Please, that way. Well, that was a scene. Under renovation, lovely. Ooh. What's the purpose of that? Okay, what's the purpose of that spot? We got to find someone of importance. The pregnant lady. My grandpa used to say if you see a girl in trouble, help her even if it means risking your life. We pr he protected me and I was. Oh, a good man. I just wanted her to give my baby a name so that my baby will be happy, but Princess Emil was a whore. A total bitch about. I ain't gonna mix words about that kind of mess. Nothing up here. Why? Why does it have a yellow marker if there's nothing up there? It's a well-made skeleton model. With a heart! Dart, stab it! Stab the heart of darkness! I'm surprised at the way my I've been going in this recording session. My throat isn't murdering me right now. Who's here? I feel like no one of importance. And what is this... With this save spot, I think I'm going to call it here. I hope y'all enjoyed the session of Legend of Dragoon. Oh, going over 50 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed. Late peace, love. I'd love to see y'all back here next time. Yes, I have almost 150 hours in. Anyway, bye for now, and we might find plot progression next time.